What is going on guys? Dog, you stay out of the road. It's Brian and Milo back here. Uh, another adventure. And today we're in Sedona. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, kind of a random trip we took this weekend. Milo, come. Uh, Brian was like, no, it's gonna rain, you fucking idiot. And we're out here and it's kind of raining, so it's Maybe gonna be a good time. Snow. Maybe it'll be a little snow. We can do a little snow camping up in the hills of Sedona, but uh, I've never been here and the rocks are redder in person. So uh, if you're kind of doubting the authenticity of that, you gotta check it out yourself. We don't have anywhere to camp and I've never been to Sedona. Brian's really never been to Sedona. So uh, at this point, we're just gonna find a place that's free. Uh, I don't pay for camping. This trip is sort of preparation for uh, two weeks. I've got a big trip plan and we'll make some cool footage out of that. But this is just kind of the uh, entry to that trip. Um, we're gonna get two days up here and it should be fun. I've got my new fridge set up. Looking really nice. Super excited on it. Got Mila's spot over here. This thing is killer so far. So we have decided on Schnebly Hill. Um, again, never been. This is gonna be a new experience. Brian got it pulled up on Gaia and uh, it looks decent, but it might be closed. I know some of the Forest Service roads this time of year tend to have gates shut at the entrance, which is going to be really disappointing, but there's many other options out here, so uh, I don't know. Well, Brian thinks it's uh, a little risky to go four and a half miles up this road after we passed a sign on the way in that said uh, Schnebly Hill camping was closed um, and I don't know if it's open past four miles but it says there's uh, it's closed after four miles so we're not even gonna risk it we're gonna find another camp spot tonight and maybe try that tomorrow oh, We got our spot for the night. This dog is super excited. Um, she's been in the truck for like, God, almost six hours. Now, I wish y'all could see how beautiful this spot is because I'm blown away. I've never snow camped like this. We weren't planning on doing this, but this is just fantastic. So uh, we're gonna pop tents and uh, get all our camp gear set up and uh, resume in the morning. Good morning guys. We're snowed in. This place is absolutely beautiful. I've never uh, camped in snow like this. So this is a big first for me, but it's been blowing. It's snowing again. Well, this was our uh, camp last night, but it is just far too cold. Um, you're gonna cook some breakfast, but I can't hang in this weather and Brian's not hungry. So we're gonna pack up and maybe head out of here. Um, I can't even feel my hands, so I don't know how I'm supposed to cook if I can't feel my hands. But we're gonna maybe go down to Sedona. Um, 
I don't know, maybe see if we can hop on Broken Arrow today. I'd like to ride bikes, but it's still snowing and it's probably gonna be raining in Sedona. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. This is uh, definitely something special out here in the snow. The dog loves it. It's like she was built for this. We are on our way out of here. Um, wow, it's just beautiful. I'm just, I'm just so captivated. Every every corner we take in this fresh snow, it just looks absolutely stunning. I, I can't even put it into words. I've never really been in snow though, so this is all new to me. Um, so we're gonna get out of here. We're almost back to Flagstaff. Uh, this trail was about six miles, maybe a little longer. And we're gonna make some breakfast somewhere out of the snow where it's a bit warmer because I'm kind of dying here, but we'll see you there. So we're back in Sedona. We're actually sitting right here where we left off last night in Sedona on Schnebly Hill. Yep, so it looks like Sedona is officially my favorite place ever. This place is insane. I can't believe I've never been here sooner. Um, I can see where this uh, trail is going, um, Schnebly Hill, where I think we're approaching the fourth mile where it said it's 
it's gated so we won't be able to have any fun up here at camp but we'll be back in the summer for sure um but right now we're gonna maybe see where this ends and turn around and go find a camp spot because i still haven't eaten breakfast and i'm starting to get a little hangry So we're here at the top of Schnebly. Uh, Brian's parked over there. I kind of found a little spot to back in, but right up the road here, there's a, a big old forest service gate. Um, hey, come here, get down from there. Look at this dog, she's always doing shit. Um, but pulled off to make some food because I'm really hungry, um, still have not eaten. Come here, girl. And I'm gonna cook a burger. I don't wanna waste it, I had one left over. I'm gonna enjoy some of my own clean homegrown cannabis um, while I eat this food. So um, it's about two and a half hours back to the bottom. It's more like six miles to the top, not four. Uh, I got that on Gaia or Onyx. Um, so it's not as not as short as they lead on, but in the winter time you will run into a gate and we're at that gate right now. It's just up the road here. So, but you can see, I mean, look at this view. This is where I'm having lunch today, and I am so stoked on that. west of Sedona um, off of 89 I think on the way to Cottonwood we're between Sedona and Cottonwood uh, going up a road called Loy Butte Hananki and uh, I don't know we'll see where this goes it looks like it's taking us back into Red Rock country so we'll see uh, we'll see where we end up in camp tonight but it's looking promising so far it's not raining anymore this is like the most dry spell we've had this entire trip this is going to be a good spot for you boondockers out there and overlanders like me that you know we can't camp inside a you know the perimeter of Sedona National Park or whatever it is. Uh, this out here is just, I mean, there's RVs everywhere. Um, but I think the further you get back in here, the better it gets, so we're gonna find out. So that's how you spell Hanonki, and that's what you're looking for to get out to this camp spot. Cause look at, look at how beautiful that is.
so these guys down here uh, I just heard a loud bang and it, they were hauling a quad in the back of a Jeep Gladiator and it was the quads now on the ground it looks like it broke off one of the wheels or something but that was kind of funny I'd lend a hand but I have no hand to lend this evening so we made our camp for the evening this is uh the Hanonki is somewhere over that way but on the way in there's a few really good, good spots so we're pretty enthused about this one I mean that view is just amazing so uh we're gonna get to cooking and chilling and uh I'll probably catch in the morning Good morning from Honanki. We just woke up. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Um, woke up to some snow on the ground. Uh, and this absolutely beautiful mountain behind me right here. It's a, a stunner. This is not the Honanki. That's the Honanki. Um, I don't even know what that means, but we're about oh, 10 miles northwest of Sedona. And this is the best dispersed camping spot I've ever been. I mean, I woke up and I got a full view of that and snow all over the ground, um, red rock. It's just, it's stunning out here and you don't have to pay any stupid fees. Um, two cars did drive by a little bit ago, but that's all we've had. It's better than Reddington Pass, that's for sure. You don't hear razors all morning. Really pumped on this spot, I love it. Uh, I love Sedona. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This is amazing and in two weeks You'll see what we have planned in this area So that's going to wrap it up for our trip out here in Sedona and our snowy time up in Flagstaff. It was an absolute ball. Um, we're going to be up here in two weeks. Really excited for that. Brian, did you have fun? Had fun. Had a blast. Yeah, we had fun. This is a good time up here Stay doing stuff here. different than we've ever really done. So um, I would uh, suggest checking out this Hanaki Road um, if you're out here looking for some dispersed camping. Uh, lots of jeeps, so be prepared for that. But other than that, I mean, you've got this wonderful view. It's pretty quiet. You're away from population. Slight uh, light pollution at night, but, you know, that's okay. We can deal with that in this ever-evolving world. But, yeah, we had a good time, and I guess uh, we'll pick this one up on the next one. So if you like this content, once again, please show me some love and give me a like and maybe a subscribe. And... I'll bring more of this to you in the future. So, thanks for joining.